For problem numbers 10 and 11, we're just going to use the procedure we used in the last lesson. Uh, let's go ahead and clear out our y equals by, by, by deselecting the plot 1 and then clearing our y1. And let's go ahead and type in our y1 that we see here for number 10. y1 equals 2x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 2. So that's the first one. And we want to go ahead and just zoom 6. Zoom 6 is the standard viewing window. We might have to alter it. We know that the graph is going to go up from left to right because it's a third degree polynomial. We know that this is typically the model. But as we look at here, it doesn't look like we have any turning points. So we have no maxes and no mins. It's kind of a boring one to, to do this on. But let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's make sure that we don't have any maxes or mins. Zoom in, push zoom, and then in. And then let's move the cursor right around that spot. And let's hit enter. And let's see if indeed the, the graph is just going up, up, and up. Increasing always. Yeah, this graph is increasing for all values of x. And so we have no relative min, no absolute min. Uh, we have no relative max and no absolute max. So that's kind of a, I should have picked a better function there. In behavior, in behavior we would say as x approaches infinity, y also approaches infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, y also approaches negative infinity. That's typical with the, uh, with the third degree polynomials. And then the zeros though, there is one thing we can do here. We can find the zero. Second calculate zero and we just we're asked being asked for a left bound so we keep the cursor on the left side of the of that zero that we see there and then we move the cursor for the right bound to the right side bring the cursor back a little bit and we get the zero and we see the zero is at one zero so we put either the coordinates one zero or we say at x equals one so that takes care of problem ten